Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! We are playing on my server and I have just discovered that you are not allowed to crouch on a boat. Look, I've got my shift key held down and if I jump in the air you can see me crouch, but when I land, I immediately stand back up. That is a crazy, but not as crazy as the things we've got to do around here. We need to tidy this place up. You see how we've got the UFO, we've got the military over there, and while we've got what I'm beginning to call the hippie encampment down here, well, they are all bleeding into one another at this moment in time, and I think we need to try and do something to separate and delineate these areas out. Now, the military encampment, nice and easy. We can throw a, uh, a fence around it of some description. The hippie encampment, we can probably do something very similar, say that the military are coming over to try and, like, uh, we call it kettling over here, where the authorities try and hold you into place... Uh, and the, the UFO obviously is just the UFO, but we've got a whole bunch of stuff to tidy here. This is supposed to be an official area where the aliens are landing and the military have rolled in and the we love you guys, please stay and keep us happy bunch of hippies over there have just kind of turned up. Uh, but this, it, that, that's, not, that's not what I see when I see this. I mean, it's what I see when I see that and that. But this whole area over here, it needs changing. Have I ever told you how much I just love making a time lapse to dance music? I think I've actually told you this many times before, but let me tell you once again. Whoa, I do love it. Uh, so we've gone around and we have built a bit of a enclosure into the military area over here. This is looking pretty good. Though I'm wondering, do we need military banners here? Now, obviously, these are not actually military banners. These are just black banners. 
I don't know about that moon up there, by the way. But yeah, I'm thinking we do need to have something there. But we need a banner design. If anybody has any ideas on anything to do there, even just like a motif or something like that that I can build upon, that would be great. Oh, I do love that guy looking over there. Though I kind of need to uh, light up the gun barrel properly and maybe even the missile as well. In fact... I'm going to go ahead and write this in my to-do list. It's always good to write stuff down because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have a very big brain. So big a brain that it takes up a lot of space in my head and as such I have trouble finding room for memories. If you are also a big brain boy like me, let me recommend getting a book. Uh, I've also found a little like tick mark to copy and paste so when I do things I can put a little tick mark next to it. That's great. Yeah, I, I highly recommend if you are a big brain boy like me, get a book to write stuff down in it was really really helpful okay the next thing we need to do of course is come over here and uh, replace some blocks on this tp oh yeah i was going to explain the fence wasn't i yeah the fence uh so i went with uh, what i consider natural materials for the pigment ah oh, this uh, this sunrise and the rainstorm is gonna combine really weirdly look at those god rays though aren't they amazing oh also seems to be a little bit grainy i don't know if you guys see this as well like i have got a top of the line graphics card there is no reason me to be seeing any grain there but i suppose that kind of is the rain's fault as well but yeah i went with what i consider to be uh the natural materials for a pigment we've got some nether brick and some iron bars I, I don't actually think the iron bars are natural spawns in the nether now but you know it it, it, it fits it fits the theme most uh, definitely and i think it looks pretty sweet over there ah uh, uh, that's not how i want it yeah it looks pretty sweet over there it definitely does the job i was um playing around with the idea of never brick wall down at the bottom uh but whilst talking to misaligned about it she mentioned and i very much agreed that it kind of looked a bit too permanent if you put the wall at the bottom it kind of looked like it was a structure that was already there and of course as we all know the pigmen have just turned up after the men in the helicopter up the hill Ooh, that guy over there. Uh, let's let's do a proper zoom. That guy over there. Once the men in the helicopter turned up and told them about the alien, they uh, they they should have turned up at that point rather than it being a permanent structure. Oh, to everyone watching, by Acme toothpaste, toothpaste that makes your teeth shine. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I always love it when people realise I'm uh, recording and go, go along and say something. Ooh, this is not great. That bad is going to happen. Ah, I was kind of hoping we could get there in time uh, it's one of the best things i love about like recording on a server everyone's like "Ooh, i get to be in the video and like yes yes you do it's great ah oh. so what do you guys think with or without the gray line i'm leaning towards with and i'm actually going to go around and put with on all of them but uh, i'd really like to know what you think whether you think it uh, looks a little weird with the fabric here or whether it actually gives a uh, much needed structure as uh, i think and all is right with the world. But maybe it isn't, because we need to have a tough conversation, guys. We've got these sheep, these cows, and these chicken over here. And I've got to say, I don't think a bunch of uh, vegan hippie alien lovers are going to be able to keep these animals in such conditions as this. I think they would be horrified by it. But taking our cue from the sheep up there, I think maybe... <laughs> Sorry, lightning strike. I think maybe we should build ourselves some little UFOs. I'm not going to do that on camera, though, because that's going to take some time. I'm not sure the best way of doing a cow breeder via UFO. Oh, look, 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 look at this. Really early on in the server's life time, uh, Decipher gave me a looting three flame aspect sword. Uh, it's just the best for taking out cows, and you just get yourself 14 stacks of steak from those four cows. Unbelievable. That might have actually been a roll round. All right, so I did a thing. I was having a little chat with Headcrab just a moment ago, and he was like, all right, th these are the things you need to put on the banner. And we went through a few ideas, and I've kind of come up with this. It's not quite as amazing as I would like. I would have liked to have put a border around it, but anything I did interfered with this. But let's talk about the symbolism, shall we? Now, obviously, I just started with a black banner because, you know, military, aggressive, right something like that maybe maybe i don't know but we've got the red brick of the never brick fortress we've got the lava we've got orange lava down below and this if you can't tell is a stylization of a portal block so this kind of sums up the idea of what the pigmen are all about why is it always raining i literally had a sleep as well all right but yeah but so that i think this is good i think this is great i think this could actually use a little bit of work but as a good uh, first effort I think it is a good job there. I've been inside here doing a little bit of detailing around here as well. As you can see, I've put down a few computers. We've obviously got the uh, the map screen, as we've always had. And I've got this thing. 
So I kind of, I really like, let's get rid of this. I really like that this almost looks like a projector. We've all walked into rooms where there's projectors on the roof. And I was like, oh, well, ideally I want to put a button on there. But we all know that a button is not going to go and work on there. So I then went, oh, how about a stair turned around this way with that on there? Uh, uh, no, I think we all agree. No. So we went back to the quartz slab here because it just looked the best. And then I was like, wait, Callum's given me a whole bunch of wither skulls. Let's put one of those there. I say a whole bunch. He gave me three. We're supposed to have been fighting the wither. But let's put that there instead. And it kind of works. It's a projector. I've been looking at a lot of pictures on uh, on the internet uh, of command tents of the military. Literally, my search term has been military command tent. Um, and there's been lots of projectors and, and uh, laptops on the side and stuff like that. Oh, oh hidden detail. Upside down laptop writing because, of course, it would be on the screen, right? Yeah. Like, if you look like this, it could almost, almost look right. But I think this place is looking good. It's definitely looking like more of a military outpost now. We've got the fencing to make it look like they are, are trying to defend the area. We've got the whole area kind of boarded off. I'm not sure that this corner is, but that's not too much of a problem. But I have been here for too long. I have been waffling for too much time about this because there are some things I want to do when we get over to spawn. And welcome to Shea Twitchy. We are on top of the world. No, we are actually very far up of a Wise's Tower. I'm going to call it Tower Wise. I don't know if that is actually what we should call it. Wise? What what are you, what are you calling this, man? Uh, but anyway, we are up here. We are down exactly one floor. And this is where I am holding residence. The first thing that I've decided to do is go along and put a nice little checkered carpet pattern on the floor. This is mainly just to make it all uniform. I think Wise was a little bit strapped for materials when he was building this and such. Had to uh, make do with whatever materials he had for the floors or the walls or anything like that. I've... Um, I've got to knock down an internal wall. I hope he doesn't mind. I don't think he will, uh, but we've exposed this little stairway over here so I can look and watch people going up and down. I think we're going to replace the uh, the side wall here, but I've also got a whole bunch of stone slabs because I want to go through and uh, make this a little bit thicker, but also so we can like cover up the roof. Of course, we do have the issue of there being lighting already here, and I think my plan, oh, of course, I've used it all, is to go and double it down and do like that, and I think that should work out well. I'm probably going to pull all of these down and figure out uh, my own lighting pattern. Uh, trying, to, trying to get the pattern right is a uh, dark art that you've got to dig deep into your own personal experience and think about how you actually want this to look. Well, I've barely got started and I'm instantly out of all the items I need to go and build this thing. I think I'm going to replace this wall with the same smooth stone. We're going to have smooth stone all the way up and over. Yeah, I will see you guys when I got that done. You know, these shaders really need to work on their horizon line. I get there would be ocean going off over that way, but it currently looks like the horizon is halfway up the tallest tower anyway. Straight palette complete. Clear clear overcoat. What's the word that I'm trying to find here? Clean slate. Clean, clean slate. Yeah, I'm, I am master of English. I've been speaking this language my entire life. I've still got the curl helmet on. But yes, clean slate achieved. It's time to think about what we're actually going to be selling here. You can see that I've got three items worth. I'm, I think I'm going to put these down. Let's see. We've got this nice little central line here brought to us by the lift. So I'm going to come over here, put, take this black one away, put that there, put this one here, and this one here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to throw a bunch of chests on there, even though I have literally just found out that these are much laggier than barrels. So maybe one day I will swap them out for barrels. And I'm going to put a glass block on top of each of these. Now, the glass block is merely so I can stick a sign on them, but still be able to open a chest. Now, do you want to see a secret of Shea Twitchy? Oh, first, nice little bed over there. I love that. But around this place, my lovely little library. I think this looks amazing, by the way. These, if you're not sure... Well, first off, these are because of my texture pack. Don't they look great? But this one, this is not. This will be shown in anybody's texture pack. You've got vanilla. This will still be here. That's because, that's right... It's a loom. It looks amazing, though. It just kind of fits in. Looks like an empty shelf. Not quite as much as these look like empty shelves. So props to whoever made the texture pack there. But around the back of my library, we've got a few barrels. These are not permanent, but I'm, uh, I've got to start moving some string around. Okay, so selling string. And the way we're going to do this here is, of course, put the item frame there because we got a carpet, right? So with the carpet, we can put an item frame in, but we wouldn't be able... Let me show you here to put the oak sign down because carpet takes up the space but iron frames are great because they just go anywhere uh, another thing i'm gonna uh, sell around here is of course the spider's eye i am absolutely overflowing with spider's eyes i don't think anybody's gonna actually buy these 
but I'm going to put them up for super cheap. Maybe like a, an emerald for a line or something like that. I I don't know exactly if anyone's got any good ideas. Maybe, maybe even like gold nugs. Yeah, how about a stack for a gold nug? That that works out quite well, actually. Let's, let's write that up here right now. And of course, I didn't bring a spare spider's eye. So we'll pop that in there for now. And I'll remember to bring the other one. But I've got this empty chest here now. And I'm not sure exactly what we're going to sell here. But sell something we shall. Any ideas are forthcoming, please let me know. But let's have a look over the view of the sea. Also, I don't know what we're going to put over this side. The floor makes me feel like it needs to be an eatery. But we've got enough eateries in this town already. Uh, Cubics is looking good. Miss has been building her lattice work over here. Looks much better than mine, I've got to say. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I was trying to do a little bit of advertising on the side. And whilst it looks pretty good up here, it's not so... <clears throat> What? Hey, <laughs> it's not so good from uh, down here. <laughs> oh, that's that's a terrible ag about. <laughs> so as I was saying, it's not so good down here. But I think the reason for that is the bottom edge of the block. So I've got one more thing to try before I totally reset it. And I really hope my landlord's OK with external modifications. Obviously, the main thing to bear in mind here is this is not a permanent modification. This is just a little bit of advertisement to uh, to welcome the store what's that to open the store the opening ceremony I, i'm not sure if there's like an actual term that i'm supposed to be using there but that's what we're doing we're opening promoting the brand new store and i'm hoping that if we put glass panes in here it will look better than these glass blocks also wise i don't know how to tell you this but your roof is an absolute death trap buddy i've had quite a few animals and monsters and bad guys come down so far and also this stairway just seems to collect more and more top tip carpet stops things spawning but also i've got another top tip for you so we come up here and people are like okay so we've got torches up that's enough to stop bad guys spawning no 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 uh let me get my mouse pointer here you see the mouse pointer in the middle of the screen here you see over here we've got client level server level light level at the end here for the block you see this number eight i mean that's Eight's good, seven's bad. Anywhere the number is below eight, like seven or lower, it will spawn bad guys. So look at all this space. All of this is a mob spawner. Everything along here. Every time the sun goes down, bad guys like to spawn. See? You see what I'm saying? It is a terrible. So what you need to do is you need to go along with a bunch of torches or something. Lanterns are better than torches. And just pop down these and then you go back and forth and just make sure that none of the lights... I've got over seven. There was look, look here. What is this? Pop that down. Uh, and and that way we can make sure that this is a nice and um, nice and forgiving environment. Like we want people up here, don't we? Don't we? I think I think we want people up here. So it would be nice if they could not die to the local inhabitants. It kind of works just being a hole in the glass. Okay, let's pop that down there. Let's make ourselves a bunch of glass pa That was too many glass panes. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, instantly better up here. Let's go and check down below. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I only took a little glance. Look at that. Oh, that is that is a billion times better. That is a trillion times better. That is a hundred thousand quadrillion times better. I love it. Let's get up on top of the building over here. This is another little mob spawner that happens every now and then. And in fact, the only place where it actually happens is right there so let's fix that uh and look over here yeah i don't know if people are going to notice that as such but i think they will notice it and go have a look we, we, we can hope also this video totally telling people that i've got a spider farm and spider shop now so we're on top of the mech over here because i get to come into here go all the way to the end where i did this and uh get to put a little Tick next to this. Beautiful. I have done a job. But also I've done another job. Rawr! I have gone and found myself an elytra. Yes, last stream, me and Miss Align, we went out and we did an entire end raid. This is great. I love this. Uh, if you want to see the footage of that, just go check on the channel. We've got live streams happening every uh, double, twice a week, bi-weekly, uh, as we call it. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, we go off and we do some wonderful Minecraft things. Sometimes I'm just working on the same things as the episodes. Quite often we're doing other things that you'll only get to find out what 
during that stream. I'll just just look at this. We need to go back and we need to get miss a bunch of stuff. But uh, because I'm the streamer, I got priority. I I'm not sure how that worked, but it worked indeed. First thing I want to have a look at now that we are back over here. Is this for a continuation of the banner? An evolution of the banner? I've shown this one to a bunch of friends and they've gone, it's a bit busy, isn't it? And I went, ah, oh, all right. And then someone else also turned around to me and went, uh, Mad Frank, in fact. The, uh, the nether brick. It's not really, thinking about it, a pigman thing, right? You very rarely find pigmen in the nether fortress. It's all blazes and wither skeletons. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's take the nether brick away. It's a lot less busy. We've still got the lava down below uh, reminding us that it is the nether. But I, I'm not sure. I, I still need your guys' feedback. I still need... Maybe maybe there's something that I've just completely overlooked here and you've got a much better banner design. Uh, so if, if you could help, that would be a great. In here, I've added a few extra items just to the middle. Every time I walked in here, it felt really, really empty. So I've added something like a compass and a, a big scale map in here. Uh, put a coffee pot down, but I don't like the look of that. Uh, I also went as far as uh, putting down a carpet here. Because uh, zombie chicken guys kept on coming in here, standing on that. And of course, where this is just a trap door, uh, it would trigger the pressure plate and break. So uh, that's that's a thing I had to do. So I've made a couple of drop pits that are covered. This is a really nice way of stopping bad guys go into your area, by the way. If this, if this is something that you can benefit from... Don't forget to leave a like on that video. But yeah, let's go and have a look over the other side. You know, I never do that. <laughs> let's go and have a look on the other side over here. Uh, I have moved the sheep in, uh, got myself a couple of llamas. Miss decided to bring these llamas over. Uh, weird thing with the llamas, you see how they're just here and it doesn't look like they're leaded. But they actually are. They're leashed up to this, this fence post here. Uh, and they just... It, it seems to be that they actually are. You just can't see it. But anyway, I put a, a bit of a fence in big inverted commas around the outside here. It's just a little hedgerow. It kind of felt more appropriate than making something like that over there. Uh, we've got a nice little campfire over here. I love this area, actually. This is this is where I would come and chill out as a person. Just kind of sit here, uh, enjoy the fire, toast some marshmallows. I suppose we don't have marshmallows. Toast the nether warts and... And eat those. That's good. I kind of stopped the fence right here. I, I felt like it didn't need to go all the way to the beach. It, it, it serves its purpose. It does what needs to be done. I want to re kajigger the farm over here. But that's going to be a really minor thing. Just to make it fit in with the area around here but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where hopefully we're working on the uh water temple the guardian farm because at the moment i am kind of struggling with farm designs we could just make the great big standard big old spawning platform and then people have to fight over the one output but i'm trying to make it so people don't have to fight over the one output i want to have like Maybe four different outputs that are evenly serviced, dependent on whether they've been turned on or not. Yeah, it's, it's a big project, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Check out my sunrise. Bye.